I'm Aishwarya Roy from Bangalore, India. And as a Wellness World USA ambassador, it's a great privilege and pleasure to be a part of today's Tita Talks. So we have here our very own Sonia Tita Popilo as the host. She is the co-founder of Wellness World USA, and she's also the author of world renowned book, Sonia's Ring, 11 Ways to Heal Your Heart. So we have a guest here, Mr. Thirendra Paul from Delhi, India. He is an excellent example of a millennial yoga practitioner who believes that yoga is meant for people of all generations. So today we have a topic to discuss, which is how yoga can be a great self-care tool. So thank you for being here. Over to you, Tita. Thank you, Ashwarya. Thank you. Well, I want to welcome everyone here today. And thank you so much, Dorinda Paul, for joining us. We're thrilled to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for calling me as a, uh, your guest at a Tita Talk. Thank you so much. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. I would like to know, Dorinda Paul, what inspired yeah. you to start yoga? What inspired you to start practicing yoga? Yeah, uh, actually, there are a lot of reasons. Uh, uh, among that, uh, one, one I want to share with you, uh, as you all know that the India is a land of, uh, you know, saints and the yoga gurus. And uh, they taught us that uh, yoga brings us together and the harmony and the peace also, because the word yoga, it itself, you know, uh, depict the meaning of union the word yoga derived from huge okay so it depicts the meaning of union so if someone has the knowledge of these lessons from you know the legendary gurus so i feel that uh, he or she must spread these knowledge among the society so that the people in the society can overcome the obstacles of uh, you know emotionally mentally and physically as well so I feel like spreading this knowledge is also work for uh, society welfare. And that's the reason I think it inspires me to serve for the society. This is the thing which inspired me a lot to do a selfless service, you know? Yeah. And, and today, who and what inspires you the most today? If you could have lunch with anyone in the world, who would that be? Yeah, uh, there are a lot of people like uh, our yoga gurus. They, the you know, uh, my teacher, my yoga guru uh, was uh, you know uh, uh, Maharishi Shivananda ji. He uh, okay. inspired us a lot. Yeah, and uh, daily practice is also very important because a lot of people think that the yoga is only about lifting your legs up and doing the difficult postures and asanas. Yeah. So it's not like that. If someone is able to sit in a position like I am sitting right now, uh, yes. so uh, if he or she is able to just close her eyes and focus on her on his or her breath, so yes. it is also considered as a yoga. Okay. So you should not be confused between the doing postures and sitting in you know uh, doing focusing on your breath. So this is also called the yoga and. Uh, Daily practice, uh, as we all know, that practice makes the men perfect. So, absolutely. For me, it's true. Yeah, everyone knows that. Uh, so, if I talk about myself, like uh, for me, uh, yoga practice is the only time to get connect with yourself. Okay, at that time, you are only yes. being with your uh, soul, your mind, and your breath only. Okay, so it helps you to release all the tensions and frustrations from your body. Okay, uh, here I want to share one more thing. Uh, the famous yoga guru quoted that line. Uh, our body is like a, you know, temple. And our practices are like our prayers. So, Absolutely. yeah, this body is our, our second place after like, you know, after home. Uh, and your body is also your home. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's so uh, true. Yeah. Did you say that you really are are the, the people or the sentient being that inspire you the most today, right? Your gurus, Sorry? you know, that inspires 
the, the what yeah. your, that inspire you the most. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Well, let's share some beautiful postures with the folks at home who I think really yeah. would benefit from learning about these self-care tools. I, you know, we agree that yoga is it's not only about the stretching and the different postures. It is about just sitting with yourself and learning about the breath and also yeah. combining sometimes mantra and so forth. Yeah. So, but yet I so, think that if you want to share, yeah, some of what you think that would be probably most beneficial for the folks watching at home. Yeah, I I'm, I'm want to share one, uh, you know, one Sanskrit uh, sutra, we can say, uh, in a yoga, yoga sutra. Uh, if, you, uh, if you already know about uh, the yoga bit, so uh, yoga is written down in a, in a uh, writing manner. Okay, so there is a mention one yoga sutra, that yes. sthir sukham asnam, means okay. uh, easy, steady and stable pose is also called a uh, asan. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I will show you some asans which helps you to uh, fight in this kind of, you know, uh, the atmosphere which is right now the COVID-19 because uh, it is very important to being a very, uh, having a very good immunity right now to fight with the COVID-19. So I will show you some asanas, few asanas. Uh, so Excellent. have a look. Yeah. Okay. So just lie down on your uh, back. Okay. Okay. Is it is it visible to everyone? Yes, yep, you're visible. Okay. Yep. Just slightly tuck your chin to the chest. Okay. And bend your knees. Just catch your ankle. Excellent. Okay. Now, with inhalation, inhale and lift your hips up. Okay. okay. Yeah, it uh, totally focused on you. Uh, helps to build your, uh, this region, uh, reduce the belly fat and uh, has strengthened your hamstrings, your calf muscles, and give a good stress to your back also. So it basically focuses okay. on your the main region. So with the exhalation, just lower down your hips down and release the posture. Okay. And the second one I will show you the yes. shoulder stand. We can say a uh, shoulder stand. It's a sarvangasana. The Sanskrit name is sarvangasana. Okay. Okay. So uh, just lie down on your back. Okay. Okay. Bend your knees and bring it closer to your abdomen with the support of your palm and just lift your hip up and. I love this one. Yeah. yeah. You you can you can see that. Yes, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful posture. Yeah. 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 So it helps you yeah. to fight. Uh, you know, uh, thyroid problems, back problems, because, and, uh, you know, uh, the whole blood is rushing down towards your face. So also, for the people who are just, uh, you know, uh, try to be uh, and want the good skin also. So yes. it's good for you also. Uh, your Sonia, <laughs> it's also good yes. for you if you want to, uh, you know, increase the glow of your face. So you can do it regularly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, and, yes. Uh, I love that. Well, I know that you're set up uh, for to show us those postures. And you know, we unfortunately with the camera and the way we've set it up today, I yeah. would have loved to be also join to do the postures for everyone and all together. But the way we set up for yeah for for the talk, uh, we were just able to do this. But next time, maybe we can work on that, or each of us can do it ourselves, and then we can share our videos. Yeah, you can our, you can join you can join the online sessions for with me <laughs> if you yes. want to join. <laughs> yes. You are most welcome. Now, do you have? Are you doing online classes? Yeah. Are, are you doing yeah. Me? Oh, okay, great. How can people? Yeah. Can people anywhere around the world join your classes? No, actually, uh, I was working in a Bangalore. So uh, oh. during the lockdown, yeah, during this lockdown period, my hometown is in Delhi. So I came back okay. in Delhi and I'm giving the classes to the Bangalore Heights, the people who are living there and uh, who came at the yoga studio. 
So they just having the classes from their home. Yes, of course. So the question is, do you know, you know, we're in Boston. Could a person from Boston maybe reach out to you um, yeah. and let us know at wellnessworldusa.com and, and we would, you know, connect you. Um, if yeah, Boston sure. wants to do a class with you, I think it's, you know, how, how much more authentic can we get from doing yoga from, from yeah. you in India? I think it would be, uh, so if you're open to that, um, we'll yeah, make sure I, we... Yeah. Good. We'll make sure we include that in the video um, uh, in so forth. Excellent. Yeah. And I know that, um, Pavel, what did, did you want to add as well? Well, essentially, I think we should, we should talk about the elephant in the room, so to speak. Um, I mean, in Boston, we're holding up with the whole COVID-19 thing and the self-isolation, uh, the soft lockdown that we're doing. Yeah. Uh, so... My question to you would be, how are you holding up in New Delhi? What is going on there? As there's not much news about it here. And personally, how, what makes this experience easier and more comfortable for you, just personally, really? Yeah, uh, yeah actually, it's uh, you know, uh, a pandemic uh, outbreak. And uh, everywhere, all, the, all around the world, people are trying to you know, cope up with this problem. Ah, yeah, uh, here in Delhi, we are trying our best to stay at home because of the lockdown. And um, of course, we are practicing yoga because uh, if you have a good immunity, then the COVID-19 will never attack at your immunity and your family also. So just we practice uh, some yoga asanas and the breathing practices. It will help you to build a good immunity. And uh, I just want to tell, uh, you know, uh, one thing or more. Here, uh, if you can include some ingredients in your daily diet, so maybe it will help you to fight, uh, you know, uh, building a good immunity at that moment. So uh, here are the things that like, uh, you know, garlic and turmeric and uh, uh, tulsi, in, in Hindi we call it the tulsi, the plant, the, it's a herb. So you should must include in your di daily diet, so it helps you. Everyone. Uh, so this, uh, my message is for all the people here is just be at home because this time might be proved as a, you know, our self-development and uh, and health as well. You can improve your health as well uh, while staying at home. Just do some practice and uh, yeah, keep yourself hydrated and sanitized. The most important thing and the positive attitude also. Just be positive. This phase will go on. Definitely it will go on. With the grace of God, we will just pass it and fight with this COVID-19 together. Yeah. Great words. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You will go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paul, for sharing. You know, we have we have been writing uh, um, on our blog and our newsletter and sharing with folks how impu how important it is for uh, to boost the immunity. And it, so it was just great, great points. And maybe we can also share, we'll be able to share just a couple of um, points in the post on, in terms of nutrition, in terms of what yeah. food people can have, like the turmeric, I know, um, and so forth, a uh, ginger. Uh, what yeah, foods ginger. That, yeah, I mean, to, uh, to help boost the immunity. Um, and yeah. then also, people who are sattvic as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the sattvic food is really helpful for everyone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, I just want to say thank you very much to everyone. And also remember, I, I want to read a quote from, from, my, from Sonia's ring. And I share with you that God, this was inspired by uh, the, you know, the events of uh, 911. And in my book, I write, I share with you that God was reminding us that even in the worst possible tragedy, though we experience indescribable chaos, pain, and suffering, there's always a witness, something that reminds yeah. us that something, call it God, spirit, divine intelligence, or call it nothing at all, is right there in the middle of the mess along with us, that we are not alone. And it will not only bring us through it all, but it will somehow even miraculously bring good out yeah. of it. I think we are going to see a major shift, hopefully towards more love, 
more, more kindness, more understanding and compassion in the universe. And thank you to participating. Thank you for sharing um, what you've shared. And thank you to all of you. Thank you. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here with all of you great people. So thank you so much for inviting me at the Theta Talk. It's a lovely experience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah namaste. Namaste, namaste. Namaste.